it's time to paint some Chthonian Berserks. Everything is built up and I will be batch painting all of these models together. I start by airbrushing everything with black primer. Using the Zenithal highlight method, I then spray white primer onto everything. And I do this at a constant 30 degree angle all the way around. If you follow my previous videos, you would have seen that my army is mainly yellow with army green. I'll be using the same paint scheme, but with a different method. I start by using Army Painter Speed Paint's Crusader Skin. I put this on the skin areas. I put Grim Black Speed Paint on all the axes. On all the boots and the pads. And on the grenade launcher. In my previous videos, I used demonic yellow as my main base coat. However, in this video, I wanted to try something new. So instead of using Demonic Yellow, I'm going to switch to the Speed Paint Zealot Yellow. This Speed Paint went on the upper section of the armor. Yellow also goes onto the upper armor of the LCOG unit. The backpacks get yellow as well. I added some yellow as accents to the twin concussion gauntlets. Zealot Yellow is a great color and it turned out to be a really close match to what I had painted before. Switching to hardened leather, this goes on all the belts and the pouches and backpacks on the LCOG unit. I also painted all the shoulder straps brown as well. Brown also goes on the handles of the axes and on the water canteen. For facial hair, I gave one of the models an orange beard. Army Painter's Speed Paints really work well for hair applications. I gave the model some variety by painting some with brown beards and some with black. Switching to standard acrylics, I use Army Green, and this went on the pants of my models. The twin concussion gauntlets got this color as well. For the LCOX dome, I use Turbodork Radium Paint. I really like the shine it gives and also the color shifting nature of the paint. I then switch to gunmetal which goes on all the metallic surfaces such as the head pieces on all the models, the steel cables, the various bionic bits that you find all over their bodies, LCOG's arms. There are various miscellaneous details that also get silver. For instance, the shovel, the little pipe on the axis, the circuits on the axis, buckles on the straps, the carabiner on the LCOG, belt buckles, the lid on the canteen,
and the knuckles on the twin concussion gauntlets. For the various cables, you can choose any color, but I went with electric blue for my scheme. Now comes the fun part, the plasma blades on the axis. For this, I wet blend yellow, orange, and red. First, I lay down white on all the blades. I allow this to dry before I start the wet blending process. In my wet palette, I ready the three colors. Starting with yellow, I lay down the first layer and I make sure that there's some white showing behind it. While the yellow is still wet, I apply orange and I blend it into the yellow. If I have to, I use a little bit of water, some yellow or orange and I blend some more. I add the red at the edge and with everything together, I mix the colors, make it a little bit wet and then I combine them such as this. This gives it the plasma effect. Wrapping things up, I use strong tone on all the areas that I did not use speed paint on. I'm careful not to wash the speed paint, especially the lighter colors such as yellow. This is because the wash can tarnish and make the colors look dark. Moving on to eyes, I use a small brush and matte white paint and I put the white into the sockets of the eyes. Using matte black and a toothpick, I dip it in the paint and carefully apply pupils to the eyes. For the two mole grenade launcher counters, I just do a simple paint job of hardened leather for the brown, gunmetal for the grenade, and some strong tone on the gunmetal. For my miniature bases, I use just simple material basing. Some Elmer's glue goes on the base, and then I spread it with an old brush. I then just dip the model in my basing material. The mole grenade launcher base is a little larger, so I added a little bit of extra basing. I apply a few random spots of Elmer's glue, spread it out with my brush, and apply some grass tuft flocking onto them. I wrap everything up by cleaning the base rims with some primer. Here are the berserks all done. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. My Leagues of Otan painting guides will continue for the next two weeks. Be sure to hit like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the future installments. Happy hobbying, honoring the ancestors, and I will see you soon.